Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! It is time for another episode of our sandbox series in the Jurassic World Evolution 2 on Isla Nublar. And today I have a very exciting one for you because we'll finally add the carnivores to our park! There have been so, so, so many requests about the carnivores. Uh, you guys wanted to see them in this park, you wanted to see me build for them. So finally, we are adding them today. And we are not adding one, we are not adding two, but we are adding three different ones and building three different uh, enclosures for them. And the three dinosaurs that we'll add today are the Carnotaurus, the Compostognathus and the Trodons. Carnotaurus was actually one of the most uh, like requested dinosaurs uh, in the comments. Uh, so thank you for all those comments, thanks to them I know what you guys would like to see uh, in our park, so keep them coming uh, and I will try to deliver. And I am not surprised that it was actually so much requested because it is such a cool dinosaur and if you by any chance watch the Camp Cretaceous, you might be very very familiar to this one, to the Toro. Uh, that caused uh, so much commotion in the first uh, season of the Camp Cretaceous and yeah, quite a important character in the series, uh, it was featured a lot and also it had a lot of those very iconic scenes including of course Ben who defeated the Toro as he likes to say uh, but yeah, no more spoilers here, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this dinosaur is definitely very like uh, important for the Camp Cretaceous series uh, if you are watching it. And uh, I told you guys like a couple of episodes ago that I actually started to watch the Camp Cretaceous and I really enjoyed that. And let me just tell you that I finished it. So I've watched all of the episodes, we were left on the cliffhanger at the end of uh, season 4 and now I cannot wait for uh, another, the fifth season. Uh, and yeah, I think that this one will be very, very exciting. So yeah, three uh, different habitats, three different enclosures for our three different carnivores today. And because we are building three enclosures, we are building a small plaza as always, this video will be probably a bit longer uh, than uh, the last ones. Uh, I will also have of course the real time part at the end of this video to showcase every everything that we've built, so definitely stay tuned uh, if you'd like to see everything in detail and uh, have a closer look at the dinosaurs that we'll add today. So, besides our Toro, we'll also add Compies. And Compies are another very, like, uh, iconic dinosaurs when it comes to uh, the Camp Cretaceous. They are, like, almost in all the ep episodes, I feel like they are, like, appearing somewhere. They are so small, both in the series and in the game. In the game, you can barely see them, actually. They're the smallest animal uh, in the game, and I think that it is so such a cool addition to the game. I was super happy when it was announced and added to the Jurassic Evolution, Jurassic World Evolution 1. And now we also have it in Jurassic Evolution 2. And yeah, this one is like exceptional for me. So I wanted to build uh, like a you know separate enclosure for it just to showcase it. I didn't want to like add it to another one because I think that it will get lost simply uh, in the enclosures with other dinosaurs because of simply how small it is, uh, so I decided to build a separate enclosure for just the compies. And then we'll have Trodons. Trodons are actually not... Uh, I don't think that they have appeared in the Camp Cretaceous uh, or I just missed something, but I don't think so. Uh, but I really love the Trodons. I loved them in the first part of the game and in the second one I think that they look even better. I love all their animations, different patterns, uh, how they look simply uh, and how they behave. Uh, I love their animations as I told you guys and uh, yeah, those are... All 
also smaller ones and I was looking for a smaller dinosaur for uh, to add today because I simply had this idea of creating like those two very small enclosures in circular shape uh, and then having this bigger one like a bit surrounding them or something and then you have this path between them uh, so yeah that was my idea for today Adding a path in between, uh, you know, those two uh, fences that are really close to each other was a bit of a struggle. It was always obstructed and so on. Uh, but uh, I did it and I did it off camera because it was such a long time. I keep, I, you know, I had to keep uh, deleting the fence, deleting the path, redoing them and so on. But I was finally able to make it. Maybe I'm not super like 100% uh, you know, happy with how it looks but uh, it works <laughs> in the end and that is what is important. Also uh, a lot of carnivores in the game they require sand and I thought that it would be a nice idea to you know make this part of the zoo of the park. I always say zoo because of planet zoo and how much I play it uh, but yeah of the park like a desert section so uh, all of those uh, enclosures are very sandy there's a lot of sand and I really like the look of it. As you can see we already did the compi uh, habitat and uh, uh, trodons. Uh, I simply did like a small water section and a lot of uh, rocks in this like sandy beige color that to me like they look like uh, you know deserty rocks or something like this and I didn't want to add too many plants to make it look like a bit of a desert or something like oasis on the desert uh, something like that so I just added a lot of uh, like some of the palm trees and some other like singular plants and also this is what I did with the uh, Carnotaurus uh, enclosure uh, there I added two, uh, two uh, like separate water sections I added a lot of rocks and some plants and because it is actually on the edge of our park I decided to like make uh, the grass like coming down a bit to this uh, enclosure because I thought it looked very like weird when you have like a lot of sand and then suddenly it ends with this like very sharp like border and then you have you know uh, the forest and the uh, grass so I tried to, to like break it down uh, with some grass that is coming down to the enclosure but uh, most of it is covered in the sand. So when it comes to the compies we'll have like around 16 of them that is quite a lot but I wanted to uh, you know be able to see them in the enclosure and since they are so small I decided to add more of them and I think that we sh like could add a bit more even and it still would look good. Uh, this enclosure is very small but compared to the size and as you will see guys in the real time part section of this video I think that it is like the size is just perfect. When it comes to the trodons I think I added six of them or five I'm not sure at this point. They have those very different color variants and I really love them so I wanted to have like you know trodons in different colors and I, I basically did that and I love how they use their enclosures they're constantly going in the circles around this water section and yeah you will see that in the uh, real time part. When it comes to the Carnotaurus at first I wanted to add two but then I uh, just saw that this uh, habitat is actually a a bit large for them they are not so like large as I thought uh, they are just this like medium-sized carnivore so I added four uh, they are fine with that they like to live actually in a bigger group I think uh, so uh, we have four of them uh, at first I added six but then I thought it looks a bit weird so I added four and I also tried to find a color that is similar to the one that we had in the Camp Crota Cretaceous because I think that current Taurus for example in green color looks or we have for example a blue variant and it looks so so weird so I was going for this red 
pinkish or yellowish or orangey tones and yeah i really like the variants that we have now in the park and i'll of course showcase them in a real time part of this video so this area of our park is coming along very very well uh, I think that we'll have two more uh, in like episodes and then the left side of the park will be basically finished and then we'll focus on the central part and then of course the right uh, part which is a bit bigger so it will take a longer time for sure and there are a lot of space for those bigger enclosures and bigger uh, dinosaurs so you can expect me to add them in the future. Uh, right Right now I will focus maybe on smaller ones. I don't have like a concept for the future episode. I have to go through all the dinosaurs and check and also through your comments. But I am sure that we'll build something nice uh, in the like nearest episodes in this area here near the, uh, you know, near the lagoons. Uh, this is what I was looking for, the lagoons. Uh, I will of course showcase uh, it in the real time parts. Uh, like uh, what are the plans uh, so you'll be you'll be able to see how this park is coming along so uh, after being done with the enclosures I uh, started to work on the like plaza gas areas and so on uh, I added like a gift shop I added a rest uh, restroom and then uh, I begin to you know uh, decorate the things a bit I at first had this really big plaza but I decided to break it down with like planters in the middle so uh, I added some uh, you know palm trees I also added rocks and I think that in the end it looks super nice and of course I added a lot of those decorations like planters I used a lot of those ones with the rocks I don't know if they should be added like called planters if there are no plants in them they're just rocks but <laughs> uh yeah but that's weird uh but yeah i added a lot of them because i thought that they match this deserty vibe that is going on in this part of the zoo of the park uh, I said it again <laughs> uh, and yeah I added a lot of those and some of uh, you know those uh, skull school uh, sculptures because I think that it matched the carnivore section so well uh, so we will see those skulls and of course I did some work like around uh, adding some trees some rocks and things like that and I really like how this whole area has turned out unfortunately the people don't go uh, like through those paths uh, that go between the habitats uh, you know in this circular shape because they simply don't have like a destination nothing is done for them uh, the guests in this game they just look at the animals from the uh, you know this uh, viewing platforms and viewing galleries uh, they don't stop near the fences to look at the dinosaurs which would make a lot of sense but uh, some uh, like the developers of this game decided not to include that uh, this is totally fine but you know because of that the people don't have like a purpose to go there and they don't use that path. I also got a lot of comments if I know that the buildings and shops are custom customizable and of course I know about it. I just don't include that on my videos because sometimes it takes a while for me to figure out what I want to do with a certain building and I click through it several times and it takes time so I figure out that this is not too interesting and I also always do it off camera but this time since we have only one shop I showed you guys how I I do it and uh, to prove that I know about it and I customize every building uh, in this park. Okay guys so our speed build comes to an end and I will see you in a second in the real time part of this video to showcase everything that we've built today. Welcome guys again to our park. As you can see, this is the part that we created today. Let me actually unpause the game so you can see the dinosaurs moving in their enclosures. 
Uh, but yeah, this is the part that we were able to create today. Maybe let me start this little tour from the very beginning of our park so you can get the perspective and see where we've built uh, those enclosures. So as you can see, we have here our main plaza and coming down that way, like along those uh, enclosures that we've built, uh, the lagoons, we have now here like a little desert uh, a carnivore section with uh, a plaza with some decorations as well uh, as some planters in here. Uh, from this perspective, you can see like this cool, cool view uh, for the uh, lagoon, but you have those decorations blocking the view a bit because the main, uh, like, you know, area, the viewpoint is here. Uh, but yeah, let's focus on the things that we've built today. So first we have a little compi enclosures, enclosure and as you can see, it is so hard to spot them. It looks like it is empty, but they are here mainly by this feeder. And they are, there are a lot of them. They are so, so tiny. Just look at them. Uh, we have a lot of different color variations. Uh, there are surprisingly a lot of them in this like uh, red color like red, uh, orange or something uh, we are used to more uh, you know green ones because of Camp Cretaceous and uh, there are a lot of you know those green ones in the series but here in the game we have a lot of those you know um, in different colors for example here we have like a grayish like white one almost uh, but I'm sure that we also have some green ones. Uh, some of them actually have really cool uh, patterns. This one is probably blank pattern, but let me just find someone that is looking a bit... Whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Yeah, this one has like an interesting pattern on its back, but I had some better ones to showcase, I think. As I told you guys, it is so hard to like find them in the enclosure. But okay, I won't waste your time at you know looking at compies. Oh, for example, this one has a really cool pattern. This is like is in this greenish color, but still it has this. This is the one that I was looking for. Come here, come here. Yeah, just look at this pattern. This one is probably my favorite one because of all the vivid colors, like this contrast between the pattern and the color of it and those stripes here on the legs just look so, so, so cool. So yeah, those guys are living their life in their enclosures. They're the enclosure, they're eating a lot. Actually, there are always some around this feeder. And yeah, I really love this enclosure. So let me move maybe then to the Trodons. We are going through our plaza. Uh, as you can see, this is like a little backstage area. So I added those, uh, you know, uh, like concrete barriers just to hide it a bit. I wish I could actually add it here, but it was obviously obstructed. Uh, and I didn't want to like move it because I had to move the whole hatchery, like the whole uh, lagoon to move this hatchery. And yeah, I just left it how it is. Uh, but yeah, here is our Trodon habitat. And the Trodons, as you can see, are a bit bigger ones. Uh, and they are looking so, so cool. I love their eyes. They are so, are so big. And they are somehow looking like they're very like, intelligent dinosaurs to me, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, just look how well the patterns look, how they are just very, very beautiful little dinosaurs. Uh, I like this one. Oh my God, I like, come on, I want to click on you. Yeah, I like this color a lot. This is like a bit washed out. And then for me, looks very like realistic, like, when I imagine dinosaurs, how they would look, uh, I don't have any proof for that for sure, but this is how I imagine dinosaurs, basically. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one is like a standout for me for sure. But we also have some different ones that are also, this one is also very, very beautiful. 
Uh, and yeah, their enclosure is also like the typical desert, like oasis or something. They're constantly going around this water section and, you know, hanging out here. So yeah, I really love it. And look how fast they actually are. This is so cool. Oh, what is happening? And yeah, this is one of my, like, this is one of my favorites when it comes to enclosures in this park, actually. So let's go to the start of our uh, park right now. The Carno Torres, as and as you can see, we have four of them in here. So let's go and see them one by one. This one in, is in this gray, like green, yellowish colors, and I really like this one. Actually, the green one looks a bit like the green color looks a bit like weird on this dinosaur, but still, I love it, and I love like the footprints that there is, this, it is living on the sun, so this is a very cool thing uh, that I noticed basically here while building this habitat. Uh, this one is like a bit more green even, uh, but those ones are two probably of my favorites. This one is this like, also has a bit of green, but more like uh, orange uh, color. Uh, and here we have my favorite that is looking like the most, like the one from the Camp Cretaceous. Like it has this like a bit washed out, like uh, red colors. And yeah, I think it looks so, so cool. And it is sitting for us. I love it. It looks like a chicken for me right now. <laughs> yeah, but this is so cool that they do it and that it was included in the game. But yeah, this guy is definitely a st another standout. Yeah, I love the young. Yeah, just, I love those guys. And their enclosure is also really, really cool. Uh, they have like this little forest area here. They have this big water section and another one is slightly smaller in here. And they are just circling around their habitat all the time, which I think is really cool. As, as, and as you can, and, oh my God, I cannot like, use my tongue today sorry so uh as you guys can see no people are walking around here as i told you uh in the uh, speed build. this is sad this is something that i don't like but we have to live with that uh so yeah this is basically all that we've built today uh, I hope you guys enjoyed our little uh, episode today. Uh, I hope that you are happy that we finally added the carnivore to our park. And this is the lovely Carnotaurus. Uh, yeah, I love those guys. Let me just say once more. Uh, so if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up uh, down below. Uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. And and of course, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and if you would like to see more of the Jurassic World Evolution 2 content here on my channel. Uh, also, comment down below if you enjoyed this video. And as I told you guys, uh, keep coming with another uh, like uh, recommendations about the dinosaurs that you'd like to see here in this park. And I will try to add them. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!